Advent Children, first of all, it's a great story. Um, Obviously, as an actor, you want to do something that, that is a great story and tells a good story. Right. Great cast. There's a lot of great actors involved. And again, the character Cloud in itself is the number one reason why I'm doing it. It's such a popular character. Tifa, I'm not fit to help anyone. Good. Let's, uh... Can I try that again, though? Can I give you one more? How was the level? <laughs> level Man. Good. Level's good? Yeah. Okay. We'll try one, but we'll Yeah, we'll try one more. One. You do have a little more of a break in between, yeah. but again, you know, just get, I'd rather get the read, and then we can always move it if, it if it's a good read. Here we go. Tifa, I'm not fit to help anyone. Well, that was good. Yeah, that's a good read. That was really good. Good. Stand by a second. I guess that only works for real families. Tifa, I'm not fit to help anyone. Not my family, not my friends, nobody. Tifa is a, a beautiful girl and a very tough girl. And um, man, I don't know how she sort of kicks so much butt and manages to have such perfect hair all the time, but uh, I'd like to know her secret. She regulates and looks fabulous all at once. It's very cool. You know, Cloud's cool, and that's what he's known for. So, and they definitely do that in this movie. You know, and he's very fashionable. I guess I don't know anything about fashion, so from the clothes I've seen, he looks great. That's all I can say. Giving a video game a voice uh, or giving it a, a film version I think is almost a little bit similar to making a, a movie out of a book. You're always going to hear characters differently in your mind and you've created them to, you know, to act the way that you want them to through the game, uh, you know, or to, to imagine how it's... I bring up the intensity okay, and, and How far away is he? He's pretty far away. Okay. And there's all this chaos happening with all these people. They're shouting and screaming and stuff like that. He probably can't even hear you no matter how big you shout. So enough with the intention that you would get to him. And I'm okay on the mic? Yeah. Okay. It's surprising to me the way that you know technology has evolved and, and really in such a short amount of time that things have gotten better and better over the years and uh, I think it's a great opportunity that this is happening and for the fans to finally hear what these characters sound like and um, and have her you know come back really? okay. uh, as you know part of this movie even though she passed away in the in the game um, so again I just I'm honored to, to be doing this and to be playing this character. That's a good sign. Let's preview it. That one. Well, Cloud, first of all, is the whole fi Final Fantasy the game, the movie is is so famous, and I didn't really realize how famous it was. And in the video game, Cloud didn't speak. So I guess I'm the first guy who's playing Cloud here in America, which is just a great honor anyway. So I hope I don't mess it up. Um, but Cl the character is a great character because he has a, he has a past. He has a heaviness about him, um, which you don't really get to play too often as an actor. What do you want from me? Who are the guys that attacked me? I'm leaving. The day of the explosion. What do you want from me? I managed to get out. Who of were the, the guys that attacked me? Before it collapsed. I'm leaving. We need your assistance, Cloud. 
I wish it was this easy. What are we doing, 104? Yeah, the, the <laughs> most challenging thing is that it was already done in Japanese, so it's tough for me to match Cloud's mouth or his lips perfectly since it's been done in Japanese. That's the biggest challenge for me. You know, to get to get the essence of the Japanese is is mostly just to to play it and then and then copy it. And in fact, Try to, yeah. what we can do is we can have you we can we can uh, uh, beep you to it. Yeah. You can listen to what he does and then just do it right after it. Don't do it at the same time. And then right. I can move it into place. So you can hear the sound and then mock it. And then we can try sliding it in. You see what I mean? Most just for the reactions. I mean, because they're not. Uh, they're, it's not dialogue. You know what I mean? <sighs> whatever, whatever yeah. works. Let's try one. to get one. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Um, the only other voiceover work I've done before, um, we're able to record the voice first before they do the animation. So the major challenge with Final Fantasy VII Advent Children is that we're matching to something that is a locked picture. They can't be, you know, flexible as to how a, a line might sound, you know, being that it's already been, been made, and it's perfect looking, so. You know, my thought is that it's a little, um, it's a little, it's a little uh, big open mouth for that. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, let's try it, let's, that's good, we'll, we'll keep that, but try one more where you're, you're saying it loud without opening your mouth so much. Oh, okay. See, to me, that looked like a big shout of, yeah. Denzel! You know what I mean? That kind of thing. But her mouth doesn't open that much. So it, maybe it's more pushed out here as opposed to coming out through the mouth. Okay. Okay. Um, the main challenge is just to match things like mouth movements of certain letters, like words with M, like memory, looks really different from, say, the past, you know, or something like that. It's just, uh, we were struggling with this line earlier. You guys weren't here for that. This is the funny part about being in here. You just, you watch them, you can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> There's things that you can communicate on screen, you know, um, without sound, you know, and, and to, to have to put all of that in one um, is, is a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. Let's go home, Marlene. <clears throat> we can't, Cloud's not here yet. I know, sweetie. I miss him, too. Yeah. So, say he comes back. Well, I'll go home. Not until he gets a lecture. Uh-huh. I think that, you know, clearly she is the character. She has defined the character and set her to be the way that they want to be. And I'm not out to change that. And um, it's hard for me to understand exactly, you know, which word is at which place in the line when it's played back to me. But sometimes they'll convey to me, they'll say, they being the producers this time, you know, she's more angry at this part of the line than at this part. And I'll try to reflect that in the read that I do as well. And every time we record a line, they'll say, listen to the Japanese version first and even though mm, sad to say I don't speak any Japanese it really it does help because you can hear the sentiment in the line through the actress's performance and she's really fun to listen to and she has a, a pretty little voice and I tried to imitate her for a while but I wasn't very good at it. I, I kind of like the way she did it better she, like she doesn't know that something's wrong at first like she's kind of like Denzel Denzel you know it's just like you know she she couldn't quite tell. I could tell in, in the original that something's totally wrong. I think it's sort of built more. Are sins ever forgiven? I've never tried. You mean never tried? Marlene, let's go. Well, I'm gonna try. I'll phone in the verdict. The, the actor who's voice for the Japanese Cloud, um, it's interesting because he did it first. He's done Cloud's voice, and I'm kind of going off what he's done, which is great because I'm getting a kind of a feeling for his acting, which helps me a lot, and his delivery. Um, I wish I could have been the first one, and then he had to do it for me, but no, his voice sounds great. I think it's great. That's a good sign. 
that's a good sign. So, why did you come? I think I want to be forgiven. So, why did you come? You go higher, that was just... So, why did you come? I think first and foremost, I, I haven't done any voiceover work before, so I definitely feel the pressure in, in that sense, and I think even more so now with it, you know, being a, a video game character that's, you know, being put into this movie. Well, I feel, I feel pressure. I mean, um, it's a popular character. I, I hear that the Japanese actor is very well known, so um, I'm kind of going uphill at this point. But I do, you know, I do feel a little pressure. But the director's great. The director here is great, also. So they, you know, they can ease me into it, and we're just we're just having a lot of fun. My question here was: Do we do we think that he senses that it's Aerith uh, that's that's in the room? That's a possibility. You know what I mean? That is a, it, it could be an emotional moment, even though it's just one slight little breath. It's a, it's a moment of, of no longer the panic of, where am I? Now it's, it's, okay, <laughs> there's something happening here. There's, there's somebody here. There's, you know what I mean? So it's a yeah. slight sense of realization without actually saying what it is. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you could definitely feel pressure from fans who imagine Tifa to be a certain way. And when she is voiceless, you have more options, as you know, just in your mind as to what she might sound like. So, if even two percent of the people who hear the voice I've done say, "Yeah, that's pretty good," then then that's not bad because it's always going to be different from what you've imagined. Vincent, does Cloud know about Kadash? Vincent, does Cloud know about Kadash? Vincent, does Cloud know about Kadash? Okay. Vincent, does Cloud know about Kadash? Vincent, does Cloud know about Kadash? I think it would be great to keep on voicing her and to keep it consistent throughout the game. So, yeah, I hope they keep me. Thanks. I think that's the hardest part about this is that people do have their own imagination of what Cloud should be like and sound like and act like. Um, so, again, I have to leave it up to the fans to see if I've passed or not, but I'm doing my best and that's pretty much all I can do. Most actors don't like to admit this, but when you're doing a scene, you also have to worry about like, you know, am I, uh, you know, am I standing the way I, I was standing in the first take? You know, do I need to present myself well? Do I need to, you know, look in a certain direction for my light? You know, and you have to take these things into account in your performance. And um, when you're allowed to work and, and create, you know, and create a line and a performance, etc., through only your voice, you're allowed to put everything you have only into that, and you don't have to worry about the rest of it. And the, it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's a really pure way of performing. Got a stretch. <laughs> I can hear my back cracking in the microphone. It's very different from what I do. Uh, you know, the, when we kind of did the test earlier and, and so, um, e experimenting you with, you know, how I sounded and then, you know, working with raising your voice and, and um, trying to get the intonation right and, um, and then after that to kind of wait a second and everybody kind of just talks about how that, how that was, how that sounded and uh, it's you know, made me a little nervous. Okay, like deeper, like stronger. Yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't know how you, you wanted her really soft or... Mm -hmm. it's, it's so specific, mm -hmm. so, so specific. Um, oh, I see. And I, I'd never okay. experienced uh, really hearing myself <laughs> uh, like this before. So it's it's all very, very new to me and it's... It's gradually getting less overwhelming, <laughs> but um, but it's fun. I think overall, it's you know, it's something that's uh, really cool to be a part of, and just to I just want to keep in mind and have a really good time with it, and ease into it, and have fun with it, and because that's what Aerith's all about. Play back, Lucy. With a short one breath, and I'd steal it from you. Yeah. Kichatta ne. That's high. 
<laughs> okay, I'm just concerned if I if it will still sound as strong if I do that, but okay. You came. You go even higher or I never know what to expect in this business. <laughs> That's something that I've learned along the way. So um for me, it's again, it's just always been about challenging myself and being open to new experiences and, and um, you know, going with it and seeing what will happen. And, and so when this came along, I was surprised and really I was nervous, obviously, <laughs> because I didn't really know, you know, when, when you don't know what you're really going into. But, um, but it's, it's been really good so far, so I'm, I'm excited. I've seen bits and pieces of this of Final Fantasy VII Evan Children, and it looks fantastic. It it's awesome. So um, when they called, I could only say yes. I just can't wait to see the movie. You know, it's been fun working on it, but I just want to see it. Ah!